Welcome back, guys. Um, firstly, massive apologies for the delays in videos. I honestly, I wish I could tell you what's been going on, but it's it's very private and um, just I you know I don't want to air anything. Um, but I just did want to say I'm really sorry for those people that have been following the videos and have been keeping up with things. Um, I know what it's like to leave things on a cliffhanger and be really frustrated when you have to wait and I have created that and I'm really sorry about that um, but I you know I've just had stuff that's been going on in in my life and I've needed to just deal with that first get that out of the way so that I can move on in a positive way and play these games how you know how I want to and not have that reflect in either my you know my downtime which is this um, so I just needed to step back, deal with that, and come back refreshed and ready to go. And that's what's happened. So I do apologize and I really appreciate everybody that maybe has been waiting patiently and has come back to, to watch these and, um, and enjoy them. So barring all that, let's, um, I have had to go back and watch my previous video to kind of remind myself because it has been close to a month of me not playing any video games at all which is really really sort of brought me down as well because you know that this is my source of sort of enjoyment and relaxation and I haven't been able to do that so that's been a double whammy really so I've had to go back watch the video just to remind myself on the story um and I kind of had an inkling but it's always better to sort of recap so that you don't go in these things completely blind that being said I am going back into the game after a month of not playing and I'm probably about to hit the final bosses <laughs> to talk about unprepared. So we've got Karanthir and Eridan left. Um, and I am just not ready for this. If anything, it's going to be quite funny because I've been so cocksure of myself all the way through the game because I played it so much with like these long running games. You just practice so much where you're playing it all the time. That everything becomes second nature and then you're like, oh. Um, but I haven't. So this is almost like me coming back to the game after years of not playing it virtually um, and being thrown in the deep end pretty sharpish. So let's go in the game, see what's to come. <laughs> I'm not ready for this at all. It's going to be a laugh if nothing else. Oh, you never know. It might all come back to flooding back to me and I'll be fine. Um, or it might not be that bad and I'll be able to gain my feet after maybe one or two deaths. Um, be like, right, OK, now I remember where all the buttons are. Um, <laughs> let's go. Let's see what happens. Who knows? <laughs> right. So we're back in the game after poor old Geralt's legs must be very stiff. Um, I've been having a think about this now because I haven't um been in the game for so long. I think it would be a bit foolish to just jump straight back into the final boss fights <laughs> i'm not that much of a masochist so i'm going to have a look through the quest the quest log i can get the word out i've forgotten where everything is i'm going backwards um and i'm going to see if there's anything that i haven't done so they're all gwent oh hang on so this could be a good one to do it's not too low, so it's you know, but it should give me enough practice where everything is. It's also something that I've taken you guys on this trip. We have been meeting Dijkstra and Roach and Tala, Tala, I can't remember, but definitely the Radovid storyline has been something that I have been recording. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Get my feet, get my bearings, tie this quest line off because it has been recorded. I hate leaving threads loose that I've already shown people. I just think that's a terrible way to tell a story, you know, half of it. And then, oh, it doesn't, I haven't gone back, you know, unless, you know, sometimes you do these, um, you do these quests and they just, you just don't have time to fit everything in. But I have gone all the way through this with Dijkstra and Philippa and Roach and I have recorded it so I think that's only fair so let's go do this one I'll meet you there um hopefully it won't take too long 
and then we can go fully armed and equipped properly to go and do the final boss fights. Uh, I hope they are, uh, because it would be great to just tie the game off and be getting on with new content. Um, I know I've got the expansions, but I'm going to sort of flit in between those two like I did uh, with Assassin's Creed with their expansions. And there's a new Assassin's Creed coming out. I'm so excited about that. I think it's called Mirage. I don't know. Um, I've only seen like a little snip on YouTube um, showing like the guy's face. So I'm, I am pretty excited about that. I know I keep going back to Assassin's Creed, but it is one of my favourite games. Um, right. Extra. Back on track, sorry. We're not in Assassin's Creed, we're in a Witcher. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Back in the city. It's hard to like in the city. Ah, oh. Oh. <laughs> no more singing lids. All right, so meet them at the portside warehouse. Here we go. Lovely rainy day again. What's left to think about? Shackle the horse. He was out to murder me. Liar. Oh, what's this? What's the problem? Fuck! Another non-human! You're everywhere! Silence! Now we'll do this quick. I've got a little witcher chore. You willing? Little chores aren't usually worth the pay. Well, this will be done, your friend. Now just be quick about it. I've wasted enough time on these two pricks. <laughs> a share warehouse. Monsters cropped up in it. Cropped up? On its own? You put it there. You meant it to rip my noodle off so you could get your paws on my goods. Don't try to spin this, shorty. I don't care who sick the goo, lot of strigger on who. Beast's got to be dealt with. That's that. So what'll it be, would ya? Well, right next to the warehouse that we've got to go and meet the extra at, so I'm going to do this just in case it has any relevance. It should be quick anyway, and it's all practice because I haven't done this in ages. Fine. I'll see to it. I'll not have it. Non-humans, they stick together. These two are like to prove it's no ghoul at all, but my dear departed Nan. I didn't get a good look at the mug, but now you mention it, it could very well be. <laughs> Shut it, or I'll send inspectors to your storehouse just as soon as the monster's dispatched. That won't be necessary. All right, let's quickly deal with this. Ah. Can you get out of the way so I can get upstairs? Thank you very much. I've upset the guards. <laughs> Shut up. I've literally gone in here to deal with the uh, to deal with something they wanted me to deal with. Strange. Neckers rarely venture anywhere alone. Tell the guardsman what happened. Okay. I just wasn't sure if there was um some investigating we had to do. Really not. Okay, let's go. It's that simple. So, you take care of the beast? Yes. Yes. I knew hiring which would be quickest. So, figure out how it got in there. You hired me to kill the beast, not investigate. Well, fair enough. It's just I'll still have to muck around in the matter. Would have paid extra not to. You should yeah. have said so. This is for you. <laughs> Not my fault. And we'll go to the garrison. Talk to the captain. He can try to get to the bottom of this. Okay, that was weird. Honestly thought that there would be more to that, but there we go. Oh well, at least that's ticked off. I'll take the uh, tiny amount of XP if there was any. Right. Let's get this back on track. I wonder why that was there. It's really low level as well. I mean, I know you can still have them pop up, but... Never mind. Oh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Witcher Geralt. Get in here. <laughs> Witcher Geralt Lots who? Wait upstairs. Tell us what this is about. Just as soon as Geralt arrives. Should he? Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. <sighs> Then up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it! I have an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. 
I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo. Bloody bravo. Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. He Naturally, hates her. Why has he talked to her about to. this? But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the Betrayal? matter. Is that sort Geralt, of it? do I recall correctly that Radovitz hired you to find Philippa? What does he mean by that? The only thing that she's done to him is betray him. So if she's inspired him, I don't fancy our chances with Dijkstra at some point because it just, well, I never have. I mean, let's be honest with you, he's as dodgy as hell, but when was he going to do something to double cross us? And maybe he's done that with Radovid, though he hates Radovid, so I don't see that. We'll find out, obviously. You're nosy, it pisses me off. You're nosy. Starting to piss me off, you know? I know. Forgive me, it comes with the job. No, you're not a spy anymore, remember? Chose the life of a criminal. No, that choice was made for me. Philippa forced me to flee Redania. Radovid prevented me from returning. It's both of them. The extra infernally but. sad story. Really fucking tugs at the art strings. But do you mind getting back to the matter at hand? Yes, right. Geralt, be so kind as to answer the question. He give you the contract or not? Why do I keep hearing an owl? Is she here? I mean, it could be a wood pigeon, because that always throws me sometimes. In the UK, if you hear wood pigeons, they often sound like owls, like that, that noise, but... Is the game throwing a giant bone at me and being like, Ooh, <laughs> she's here. Mm-hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. I don't think he would, not without evidence. He's crazy, not stupid. But it's the only plan we've got. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout, somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men. Post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll. Bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? Well, it literally is the only plan we've got, so I think we have to go with it. It's not the best plan. I don't think Radovid would believe us, not without some solid proof. But, I mean, even with solid proof, he might not believe us. Because he's nuts. I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theatre? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Dijkstra and I have many cocksucking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. Dijkstra can fight? fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Oh, before. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kill. <laughs> Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just round the corner in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood. There we go. On him. What I was going mad. The 
bridge must be clear. Okay. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Oh, they're all you and stairs, they make me laugh. If they're paid a tiny Philippa, what the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. <laughs> Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally, with a good deal of interest. Not very well, I heard you. Wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Nope. Um, let's go with two. Might be tough to trick, but I think I'll manage. Hmm. I hope you take a more serious approach to confronting the wild hunt. Provided, of course, you survive long enough to undertake it. Philippa, uh, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more's the pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. <laughs> Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. What's the catch? What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good luck, Believe Gerard. that. You'll need it. Because there's always two ends to everything. In terms of what they want. She wants that, but what else does she want? Dijkstra, he wants that, but what else does he want? I mean, in this world, power, mostly. Right. Lure Radovid from his ship. And of course, there's no real close. <laughs> like that's the closest. Right, I'm just going to run round and I'll meet you at the ship. Hey. Witcher Geralt, what do you want? An audience. Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I never I told him we is. had the crystal last time. How does he perhaps. know that? Or perhaps you seek to trick me, like the others. We purposefully hid that from him, so that's interesting. I wonder if that's a mistake from the game. Um... <clears throat> What others? What others? Ah, you see, a rumour went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Eilhart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid, so a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. Oh dear. The first aboard was a hunter. Killed them all, didn't he? Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it. Shower him with gold. I had him blinded. Then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. Over, the over the top of it. was the postmaster from Oxenfurt. Claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh. And I took his tongue. The spoken lie <laughs> is just as reprehensible. Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. I mean, I'd have done it after the first one. What was the postmaster thinking? He sounds a bit stupid. <laughs> well, it went all right for that guy. He's just been thrown overboard with his eyes cut out. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad. 
In a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Oh dear. Did we count for that? I like his threats. Where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. Freak. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. Of course. This how you reward those who serve you? It is how I punish those who irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. That's what I think I about you. I've been killed for less. Follow me. They never learn, do they? All right, let's get ready. Any last words? Oh. Fuck! Free the Witcher, then run of it. Andy. Hang on, Geralt. On our way. Oh. Come on. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help. Plan's gone to hell. So we think we'll improvise. Follow me, Geralt. We must get to Radovid before reinforcements arrive. It showed up. Behind them is what I wanted. It's cornered. Uh oh, what you gonna do? Open up! I command you to open the door! You screw. You needed merely to ask. <laughs> Long time no see. Oh. Bad pun, sorry. Oh, she's blinded him. Of course she is. And that was from the heart. Literally. Philippa? Forgive Gross. me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. Fair enough. How did she... Where? Why? How the fuck? Eve's dropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Does it matter? He's dead. Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Radovid is dead. Exactly. It matters not by whose hand, 
Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Struggle to remember where all my keys were. Good practice though. Eat shields so much. Well, what? Is it done? No, it's done. we're ghosts. So all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Tamaria. Tamaria! Bloody Tamaria! Uh, let's just go with Tamaria, even though I believe in number two, but let's not piss them off. Tamaria. Ah. What now, Roach? A new guerrilla campaign against the Black Ones? No. The war just ended. How's that? There's something I don't know about? I'd say so. You see, tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A uh... truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. I've brokered a deal with Amir. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes. I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir mm. will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovich's head and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Tamaria. Will he, which though? Which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say were I a poet. But I'm not. So all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. <laughs> so they've brokered a deal with Nilfgaard to end the war. They just wanted Radovid dead. I mean, they wanted him dead anyway, because, well, he's Radovid, but... I suppose... It's the best out of all the deals they could have, really. I mean, he was never going to give them everything, but he's... I just don't know. It's Amir. Will he keep his promises? I mean, this is why Geralt stays out of politics. Let's go with one. Haven't told me the whole truth. You're right West on Dijkstra. that account. We know you're bloody allergic to politics. Decided to emphasise <laughs> mages and whatnot. If it Here were done is. when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. Huh? What's that? <laughs> Vakmeth, Act Spirit 1, animal. Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Here's his true colours. Redania, under my enlightened rule, Ooh. will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Tamaria. What? Ow! This is not what we plough and agreed. Because Dijkstra wants true. the power. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty. And to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement, so no deal. You two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Here we go. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, <sighs> this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well no. on your path, or what not. No, that's not cool. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all. We can't kill him! Oh, no. Save ourselves! 
Come on then. Hell, bugger me sideways. <laughs> that was close, very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilf Guardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. So you're right. You're on your own. I've you've had your fill of politics. I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf. All right, I was glad that he's ended that there because I kind of wanted to get on with the, the last bit of the quest now. I've got all this loot. Well, I won't. <laughs> I'll leave that one there, guys. Um, because I think that that's enough practice. I'll check the quest log to make sure that there's... We've pretty much tied everything off with that. It looks as though it is because, you know, Roach is like, you've done enough. Um, Dijkstra's down, Radovid's down. The plan should go ahead as well, as planned. But I still don't believe in the whole Amir equation. Um, but then you never know. Because he's got plans for Ciri to take over the Empire, maybe he's just trying to make it as peaceful as possible. And I think he understands where there are loyalties. Um, you know, Radovid being in power and Dijkstra being in power would have been completely um, incomprehensible for Amir to have let that stand to give to Ciri. But with Temeria, the way that he's got it laid out with the people in charge, you know, as much as he thinks they're fools, he also realises they're not traitorous fools. So maybe that's, you know, the lesser of two evils for him, for Ciri. That's my theory anyway. But equally, he could just be setting it all up so that they're the weakest and then he can just take it over and give it to Siri anyway. But we did, I think we did what we could do there. We were, you know, I don't believe we should have let Dijkstra get away with that. So that was obviously a critical choice because it was a time choice. Okay, so in the next video, I will put these up as soon as I can. I am back on track and I'm going to keep going until this game is finished. Um... We will go head back to Skellige and continue with the Eredin and Caranthi boss fights. I'm not looking forward to that. Well, I am because it's going to be amazing. Um, but I'm not because I don't feel ready. <laughs> Still, you know, a few crowds of Redanian guards. Whoop. <laughs> okay. Stay safe. Stay amazing. And I'll see you in the next video.